Hey everyone, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to use the Camsys Magic Q PC. Alright, now I'm going to show you some of the different palettes. Um, and effects. So first let's go ahead and start with the palettes. As you can see we have three different layouts. So layout one is your default layer with your default presets. So you have your groups, your positions, and your colors, and your beams. Now if your light had a different beam effect it would show up in here. Um, all the moving lights have a, some preset um, pan and tilt positions, but you can always just add your own, and I'll show you a little bit how to go ahead and do that. So now you also have colors, and then you also have up here you have effects. So first I'll just go over some of the palettes. So right here, see so you have your position palettes. You can see I'm just kind of moving the light around. And then you can also just select a group and do the same thing. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just create a basic, another PT. And that looks good. Down just a bit, and then right over here on the right hand side, you hit you see record. You hit the record, and you see the little red button comes up, and it says record, select a playback or window item. So I'm going to hit the position here. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. So I just clicked on the position, and I will say middle wall. Enter. And there we go. So right there in the middle wall is where I have that preset. So now I can go select whatever I want, come right back there, boom. All right, now I'm just gonna show you how to uh, do some effects. So now I'm gonna go right here to add effect. And we'll just start with the, uh, the Flurry EXS. I'm going to just show you a, a small movement effect. So right here in Add Effects, you have a few different ones you can choose from. So for our purposes, we're just gonna do a position and let's do a diamond. So right now you can see that the speed is at 2.4 seconds to complete the, the program or the uh, effect. And right here you have your size at 50%, your X fade, and your stop size, direction, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and we'll just change the size to 25. So as you can see, it made it a lot smaller. You know, everywhere from there to 10%, 100%. And then that gives you the, that gives you the option to use the full motion of the light. So let's just go ahead and do 15% enter, just so that we can kind of see what's going on. And now let's go ahead and change the size. Let's go ahead and change the speed to about 0.75 seconds. So that's a little quicker. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, add another effect. Just go to layout and select select all ultra lux sevens. Go ahead and add an effect. And here let's just do intensity. Do this. Look her up. Well, as you can see, basically just added a, a flicker effect. 
So we'll figure out, play around with this. We'll change the size to about 75%. So I change the brightness and the intensity of the flickering. Change it to 0.75 seconds. And you can see it kind of changes it up just a bit. As you can see, I have just a small little pulsing effect. seconds you can see it. and you can also change the effect so that the lights themselves are matching or you can have it so they are alternating there you go so right here you can do your spread um, and what the spread allows you to do is if you have like four or five or more fixtures or whatever, you can spread it out percentage wise so that they are running more as a wave or alternating back and forth. So like right here, we can do 25% and they're all the way. We do 50% and it's pretty much all the way back and forth, 75%. So you can just change your spread on how you want it. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Also, please subscribe to get more content.